Perry's Deca. Don't don't Deca, Perry's Deca, or Deca Japan. Michael Deca, Elvis Deca, Soap Deca, Mary John. Zara Zubne, Kahin Mahine, Dosera Hindu Star. Wait, why am I singing a Hindi song when I'm supposed to be lecturing about black holes? Um, I'm sorry, Einstein. Uh, now let us loop Einstein, who's probably mad at me right now, for laying the foundation of modern physics. Please forgive me, Einstein. All right, now get the hell out. Please go back to Germany. Wait, did I just say Germany? Albert Einstein was Jewish. Jews in Germany, well, right now they're fine. But back then, that was a bad combination, to say the least. Um, go back to New Jersey, Princeton. So let's draw a humble, humble, or for all you aliens out there, it's a pretty nice planet. You should check it out sometime. That's just for all the aliens living out there. It's very nice. Alright, so here is the Earth. Or at least the Earth if all the land sunk. which is what will happen after climate change. And so here is the arc, and now let me shrink the damn cube to make sure it's a black hole. So let me shrink our tiny humble arc down to maybe something impossibly small, like this little fellow, or maybe something impossibly big, like I have no idea. So now, what we are going to do is we are going to plug in. Sorry, that random Indian accent keeps coming up from time to time. Oh, can't stop it. So, minus two, GG, good game. Minus 10 to the 11, negative 11, not 11. That's an impossibly big gravitational constant, my man. Hey guys, um, who put this parenthesis in Chernobyl? Uh, not me. Let me just kill it off. Release trim it. And now, what we do is we take our layer sandwich, top it off with the mass of the Earth, 6 times 10 to the 24, which will always stay constant. It's just the density that changes when we're shrinking the Earth down to the size of a peanut. We're going to square velocity. And what is velocity in this case? Well, we would assume for it to be greater than light. So let's just plug in light for now, which we'll estimate to be 3 times 10 to the 8, which is actually reasonably higher than the actual speed of light. So we're getting somewhere, yeah? All right, squared. 11 plus 24, then 8 times 2 is 16. And so, that is R is equal to 8.89 times 10 to the minus third power. Which, in yes units, is 1.6 centimeters, which is actually impossibly small in Americano units or British units. Take a look at the arch radius and see if you want to jump. 0 0.016, and then what we're gonna put, that is horrible, is this. Take a look, which one is bigger? Can you tell me? I think you know. Pass. Oh, okay, I'm not calling you pass. Chill. Chill.